My name is Jerry Norman, and I'm joining you from my home in Lee Summit, Missouri. I would like to tell you a story about Joseph Smith III. Shortly after the death of Joseph Smith Jr., his 11-year-old son, Joseph Smith III, received three gifts from church leaders. The first gift was a single-shot dueling pistol given to him by Brigham Young. The weapon was particularly dangerous, as it did not have the protective band of metal to guard the trigger. Joseph III nearly wounded himself twice, so his mother Emma gave the pistol to her brother-in-law, Arthur Milliken. When Arthur almost shot one of his children with the pistol, he wisely discarded it. The second gift was from his father's cousin, Apostle George A. Smith. This gift was a bowie knife and scabbard, and Joseph III recalled that the blade was eight to nine inches long, nearly two inches broad, and razor sharp. When Joseph III's mother found out about the gift, she was appalled. Joseph III traded the bowie knife for an oversized cherry wood rolling pin that his mother used for cooking the rest of her life. The third gift was a writing desk, which was given to Joseph III by Bishop Newell K. Whitney. Newell Whitney was a family friend who had owned the store in Kirtland, Ohio, where Joseph III was born. Newell related to Joseph III that the pistol and knife that he received were weapons of war, but the desk had a different purpose. Joseph later reflected that Newell wished to impress upon me the sentiment that the pen is mightier than the sword. I seemed to feel at the time that his intention was to foster within me a spirit of peace rather than one of conflict. The spirit and weapons of war were among the evanescent things of life and would ne necessarily perish with the using, but that the pen, mightier than they, would produce permanent things upon which the judgment of men would be based in the great hereafter. As a young boy, Joseph III had experienced much violence and war in his life and he was given a gift that showed him that there was another way. The weapons of war were not the way to achieve lasting peace. The intent of the gift of the writing desk was not lost on Joseph. It was a powerful lesson that he carried with him the rest of his life. The lesson learned by Joseph III is still with us today. In Community of Christ, the mission initiative Pursue Peace on Earth calls us to be peacemakers. This story reminds us to work for alternative, nonviolent solutions that bring about lasting peace as we work to build the kingdom of God on earth.